Banjarmasin, the capital city of South Kalimantan province, right now is 485 years old. This city, well known as a city of thousand rivers, who has 89.45 kilometers wide. As the capital city, Banjarmasin city becomes the center of trading and economy in South Kalimantan. Based on the result of survey in 2010, the number of population in Banjarmasin city is 625,389 people with the highest level of distribution in South Kalimantan which is 17.25% which makes the population becomes around 8,606 kilometers wide. The era of Banjarmasin's mayor's leadership in 2010 until 2015 period is under Haji Muhyiddin and Haji Irwan Ansari. Banjarmasin City as the capital city of South Kalimantan always tries to be more beautiful with many programs such as green and clean programs. It can be seen from the best effort awards twice as the winner that has given by Ministry of Environment in Indonesia for the effort and hard work that Banjarmasin's government has done and made Banjarmasin City becomes the cleanest city in Indonesia. To fulfill all the needs of water for its society, PDAM Bandarmasi, through its vision and its missions, that is to be an independent water company, professional, and the best service, PDAM Bandarmasi commits to give the best service starts from the quality of the water, the distribution, until a service that can satisfy its customers. Right now, PDAM Bandarmasi has produced the water until 1,850 meters cubic per hour with the number of its customers has reached until 1,025,000 ,000 customers or 89 persons from the number of population in Banjarmasin City as many as 686,450 people which divided into five districts, which are Banjarmasin East District, South District, Central District, West District, and North District. The commitment to improve the surface for its society in Banjarmasin is always being improved. In fact, PDAM Banjarmasi has finished the installation of water pipe, chiffon, in Banua Anyar area with 100 liters per second power. The water of Martapura River is the basic material in PDAM Bandarmasi's production process that will be distributed to the customers. In order to protect and improve the quality of water in Banjarmasin, the government in Banjarmasin has made some action plans with its departments focusing in water management. One of the action plans is the program from Department of River Management in Banjarmasin with the operation of Sapu-Sapu vessel on Martapura River. This vessel, which has 4 times 16 meters length, has a capacity up to 70 tons of trash, equipped with running wheels so that all the trash in front of the vessel can be directly transported and this tap is performed as a unity from normalization program in Banjarmasin River. Besides the Department of River Management in Banjarmasin, in order to protect the quality of water, PD PAL Banjarmasin also commits to make Banjarmasin clean from the waste that's supposed to be happened in 2028. To make it happen, PD PAL will build 14 points of installation for the waste management. 